It's your boy DJ Academics. If you haven't noticed in hip hop recently, rappers have been flocking to get down with this new click in hip hop called Skirt Gang. Now, Skirt Gang is a click of niggas consisted of beta males, wannabe females, and straight up bad bitches. Not from these niggas' music to how they carry themselves, how they talk to each other, and shit, even their fashion choices. It just discharges pure estrogen. The only thing remotely masculine that's happened in hip hop within the recent memory is 50 Cent actually punking Steve Stout. That's the only masculine thing I can remember recently that's happened in hip hop. Now, we've all seen the pictures. 50 Cent ran up on Steve Stout at Madison Square Garden during the Nick game and pointed in his face and almost mushed him. Now, we never seen the video. We never saw that a fight happened and nothing apparently happened. But we've all had questions. What did 50 Cent really say to Steve Stout when he confronted him at the Nick game? Now, lucky for us, 50 Cent's doing a promo tour and he stopped by Complex where they asked him just this. So, 50, what exactly happened when you confronted Steve Stout at the Nick game? You don't ask him because... He's getting into shallow waters, like he's getting closer to actually getting his ass for You feel what I'm saying? Do, 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 we, do we say good for him? If I smack fire out of him in front of everybody in Madison Square, go, wow, well, you see his skin damn near come off the side of his head. Does anyone say good for him? Or do they go, oh, man, why could you do that? He bullied him. You saw how he did that? Nobody pays attention to these people until I say something back, until I respond. But you didn't hear Steve Stout say something about me on the radio. That's why I approached him at the actual the basketball game. 50 Cent never thanked me for that. Never, <laughs> ever. The guy made so much money off of that. The guy never thanked me. He walks around and says he can't stand me. Why, why does he stand you? Because I don't think he can stand anybody. I don't know who he likes, but he definitely doesn't like me. But you gave him his first deal. I gave him his first deal. Gave him the sneaker deal. I don't know. He needs to make yeah. a, he needs to make a, a, a hit record again, though. Honestly, yeah, he does. He, yeah, he's I doing do. everything, disguised in the fact that he has not made a hit. Well, listen, you don't have to get paid for that consultation because you're stating obvious. We all know that. Yeah, he has <laughs> to make a hit record. You got shot at nine times, right? As far as I'm, I always ask that question. He got he got hit nine times, right? How many bullets missed? What did you say to him at the basketball game? You should ask him. I actually just spoke to. You don't ask him because. He's getting into shallow waters, like he's getting closer to actually getting his ass for You feel what I'm saying? Man? Once you start saying things, and then I actually feel like I have to come to you. I don't know, I don't know where, whose fault is it? Later, like when, if the journalist pushes and pulls and pushes and pulls, and then at points, asks the question, it forces the artist into saying things that you didn't force him to say it. Never. You never forced him to say it. He said it himself, right? Came with him. But it's the, it sets him up. Like It sets him up because it, it provides the opportunity for him to go down that actual lane. And some of them are not smart enough not to. The questions usually get aimed towards you because you are the one to step up and confront someone. You are the one to walk up to someone and to speak your mind. They call me the bully. Why is it after, like I'm responding to them? To something that he said. Do, do, we, do we say good for him? If I smack fire out of him in front of everybody in Madison Square, go, wow, well, you see his skin damn near come off the side of his head. Does anyone say good for him? Yep, while this definitely does not help 50 Cent's musical relevance, it definitely does drum up my nostalgia for that alpha male rapper. Y'all remember when there was alpha male rappers who, when they were at the top of this rap game shit, they challenged anyone to do anything that would go against them? They were just that nigga? Of course, the game has changed. We've all seen that the beta males are running this shit now, and we've also seen that niggas who want to be females are running this shit now. Other than Nicki Minaj, the female rap lane is completely shut down by a bunch of niggas trying to be like females and also trying to dress and think like females. We all know how this shit goes. Now, as I told y'all before, 50 Cent's the last of a dying breed. I respect him because he had a problem with something that happened and he confronted the person. Rather than being salty and passive aggressive, he confronted the problem head on. I think I really applaud him for doing that. Now, a lot of people haven't been doing that in hip hop and that's why I actually really kind of miss this. Now, 50 Cent actually just confronted the problem head on. Now, the reason why I actually applaud this is because 50 Cent was actually being up front. He wasn't being passive aggressive. He wasn't throwing subliminal shots. He let the person know I didn't like what you said or he asked for an explanation face to face. You can't hate on that. Even if you don't like 50 Cent, you got to admit that that's a stand-up move. 
then now you can think conversely, well, if you were Steve Stout, maybe you wouldn't allow that to happen. But for everyone who's saying, oh, why would 50 do that to Steve Stout? He's not that type of guy. It wasn't a fight. He had a problem with him and he's confronting it. Confrontation is a part of life. That's how some people choose to handle their problems. And especially in rap, it's a very big part of rap's history. So I definitely applaud 50 Cent for addressing his problems the way he did. Glad it didn't get physical. I'm glad it didn't go any further. But of course, talking face to face always works. So I want you guys to get in the comment box, weigh in. What do you think about 50 Cent actually confronting Steve Stout about whatever problems they have? What problems do they have? 50 Cent didn't say. There's a lot of speculations. This is about him not being signed by Steve Stout or Steve Stout hating on Eminem. You guys let me know. Get in the comment box. It's your boy DJ Academics. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. I'm out.